boy, do I have one to talk to you about today. Huh. Happy Wednesday morning. Today I'm going to give you my take on my second Netflix movie. And this one is a mind bender. Yep, that's right. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Stephen Merchant movie that's currently on Netflix right now called The Perfection. Alrighty, let's get into this weird, weird movie. <laughs> Alright, The Perfection is about two music prodigies who meet by chance. Now, throughout the whole film, the film is set up into four parts. The first part is called Mission. The second part is called Detour. The third part is called um, Home. And the final part is called Duet. Now, this has a very distinct flavor to it because... In any movie now, you never actually see the name of an act performed as you're watching the movie in real time. <laughs> the Perfection is kind of like a mind bender that reminds me of Get Out in a way where Allison Williams is in the movie as the main protagonist but in Logan Browning's eyes her co-star she sees her as an antagonist now in the movie I don't want to give away any spoilers because this was kind of a you need to see it to believe it but huh, Allison Williams turns out to be a uh, insane <laughs> and she tries to sabotage Logan Browning's music career but I don't want to tell you what happens this is a movie that you need to see to believe it has a ton of twists and turns and it's a very interesting character study between Allison Williams and Logan Browning and also their teacher <laughs> Man, where do I even get started with the teacher? This dude was insane. <laughs> but his main goal is to have Allison Williams perform what he likes to call the perfection. Now, this may sound like a basic music plot but it really starts going downhill from there <laughs> as the movie progresses there's like secrets that involve huh, I don't even know how to explain this but there are secrets that involve the the three main characters and I really don't want to give away any spoilers, but this is something that you really want to watch. You're either going to hate it or love it, but when I watched this on Monday, I felt kind of mixed on it. And I don't want to give you my grade just yet, but I'll tell you what, the craziest part in this whole movie is... The second act with uh, Charlotte and Lizzie in Shanghai. It hits the fan. This is a movie that is pretty messed up. And in a way it can be gory in Lizzie's eyes. But it turns out that. The teacher is actually the bad guy. And Charlotte and Lizzie both team up 
to stop him from training any more musical prodigies. And it just hits the fan from there. Huh. Guys, the perfection is something that you should see to believe. And this is a movie that you really do not want to spoil. So, it's on Netflix right now. It came out on May 24th. And my final grade for this movie is based on my Stardust review. And I gave this movie three stars. I almost gave it two, but the... The structure of it is interesting, and I kind of like the way that it was split up into four parts where it made the audience guess at what the climax is going to be, and they need to keep making movies like this, keep making movies like this to tell the audience what actually happens throughout all the acts. This is a very twisted movie. It's very weird, and it may not be for everybody, but check it out. <laughs> now, I want to give you an update on some of my announcements. I'm sorry I couldn't rank the MCU for you, and I didn't have time to film my Cinematic Atrocities video for Batman and Robin. And I wasn't able to see Aladdin like I said, I'm going to be leaving on Friday to Texas, so I'll have all three of those videos up as fast as I can. But tomorrow I'm going to do Book Smart for you, and Friday I'm going to see Godzilla King of the Monsters. And those will be my next two movie reviews before I leave for Texas on Friday night. This has been Mike Pruitt, The Real Hero. And I'm off to save the day from bad criticism and people who don't enjoy good movies. Thanks for stopping in. Tune in. Subscribe. Follow me on Stardust. You can find me on Facebook. I really do not care. <laughs> you can even find me on Instagram. And guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.